Ever notice how the Republican Party is criticized for lacking racial diversity, but black Republicans are criticized for being sellouts? Just a little inconsistent. Remember when the AG Cameron declined to bring murder charges against the three officers in connection with the death of Breonna Taylor? Well, Tamika Mallory is co-founder of the Women's March. She was not happy. He mentioned at the press conference, which I thought was quite interesting, mm. that he's a black man. Mm. Well, mm. And as I laid and cried and hurt for Tamika Palmer and for Breonna Taylor and for Kenny Walker and for Janiah, who we need to love up on, as I laid there and I thought about him saying he's a black man, I thought about the ships that went into Fort Monroe and Jamestown with our people on them over 400 years ago. And how there were also black men on those ships that were responsible for bringing our people over here. Slave ships? Because he rendered a decision she didn't like? I'm in Los Angeles. And years ago, a homeless woman named Margaret Mitchell was shot and killed by two cops. I didn't believe the shooting was valid, and I told the police chief that. The police commission did not agree that the shooting was valid by a three to two vote. The police commission was headed up by a man named John Mack. He is a former head of the Urban League, a very respected black leader in LA. And the police department was headed by a man named Bernie Parks, a very respected black leader in LA as well. The men disagreed in good faith. Nobody rioted. Nobody burned anything. People felt, okay, there was a good faith disagreement. Can there be a good faith disagreement? Apparently not. Daniel Cameron is no different than the sellout Negroes that sold our people into slavery. She said it. And helped white men to capture our people, to abuse them and to traffic them while our women were raped, while our men were raped by savages. Sell out Negroes? And how did this woman ever become an LAPD sergeant? She's retired, her name is Cheryl Dorsey? I'm not surprised I'm a realist, and so I, I, I deciphered all of his double speak and code talk, and we know that this is really a non-indictment. It has nothing to do with Breonna Taylor. This was about Officer Brett Hankinson firing rounds into the next door neighbor's apartment. It had nothing to do with the murder of Breonna Taylor. Those officers, according to uh, the attorney general, were justified in that use of force. Now, I don't know how 16 shots fired by one is justified use of force when officers are taught to fire two shots in rapid succession and then reassess the threat. But nonetheless, that was his story and he's sticking to it. And I found it offensive that he would call out celebrities and alleged influencers because he too says he's a black man and somehow celebrities can't speak for uh, Kentuckians, but as a black man, he can speak for us. And so I understand he's skin folk, not kin folk. He doesn't speak for me. And when Donald Trump's nominee for the Supreme Court, Amy Coney Barrett, put out a photograph of her family, you see she has seven kids, two of them are black. And here is what Al Sharpton said about that. Yeah, that was the least diverse audience I've ever seen an announcement like this made <laughs> in my life. I looked around, I was glad her two kids did come out because I couldn't find too many other people of color in that audience. It was, um... Uh, an interesting look for a moment like this in this presidency and a decision so monumental. So if Donald Trump's administration does not have enough blacks, that's a problem, right? The one thing that you have in common with your two predecessors, both Attorney General Sessions and Attorney General Whitaker, is that when you all came here and brought your top staff, you brought no black people. That, sir, is systematic racism. That is exactly what John Lewis spent his life uh, fighting. And so I would just suggest uh, that actions speak louder than words. And you should really should keep the name of the Honorable John Lewis out of the Department of Justice's uh, mouth. I listen, I don't there. I have no animosity for um, Kanye West. I'm just going to be honest, and I may get in a lot of trouble for it. I feel actually feel bad for him. What I saw was a minstrel show today. Him in front of all of these white people, mostly white people, embarrassing himself and embarrassing 
Americans, but mostly African Americans, because ev every one of them is sitting either at home or with their phones watching this, cringing. I couldn't even watch it. I had to turn the television off because it was so hard to watch. It, it, it was Listen, a bunch of mediocre it, when, Negroes being dragged in front of TV as a photo op for Donald Trump's exploitative campaign against black people. This is the uh, Romney family, yeah. right? Um, and if, and of course, there on um, on uh, Governor Romney's knee is mm -hmm. his adopted grandson, mm -hmm. who is an African American, adopted African American child, Kieran Romney. And he captions for this one. One of these Ooh. things is not. <laughs> <laughs> one of these things yeah. the same. Yeah. And that little baby, front and center, would uh, be the one. Were and isn't he the most gorgeous? My my goal is that in. 2040, the biggest thing of the year will be the wedding between Kieran Romney and Northwest. Uh, Can you imagine uh, Mitt Romney great. and Kanye West oh as in love? I, I think this picture is great. It's it's really sums up the diversity of the Republican Party. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a racist administration if you don't have blacks, but if you have blacks, they're sellouts. The president of the United States is racist. You also might want to do some self-examination. What does it say about you that no matter what, no matter what, you continue to make excuses for this man, for his vile behavior, this sort of vile behavior? Doesn't that make you just as bad, if not worse, than him? So the Trump-hating left is angry at Trump for not having diversity, but the Trump-hating left is angry at black people for joining the racist Trump administration. Got it? So if you join the Trump administration and you're black, you're not really black. If you are not prepared to come to that table and to represent that voice, don't come. Because we don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. We don't need Muslims that don't want to be a Muslim voice. We don't need queers that don't want to be a queer voice. And if you're worried about being marginalized and stereotyped, please don't even show up. Because we need you to represent that voice. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. Cause it's I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. Now, during the George W. Bush administration, he had a black staffer. The black staffer got busted for theft. And a local columnist in Los Angeles named Aaron Aubrey Kaplan was not the least bit sympathetic. Here's what she wrote. I don't support conservatism in its current iteration, and I support black conservatives even less. But we cannot ignore the racial implications of this latest Republican fall from grace. Here is a man who, like most black conservatives, has had to do an awful lot of personal and political rationalizing to pay dues. That has unfortunately, but not always unfairly, invited comparisons to slave times, when the most loyal blacks were those who worked in the closest proximity to their white masters, house Negroes, as they were derisively known. It's hard to imagine that such compromises and cognitive dissonance don't exact a psychological toll at some point. And Allen's alleged dabbling in crime might have been that point for him, end of quote. So if you are a black Republican conservative, by definition, you're crazy. And check out what this Baltimore Sun columnist wrote. By all standards, some creatures are just plain strange, making us do double takes because their compositions or habits or appearances defy our sense of logic and our way of viewing reality. Take the wildebeest, the warthog, the hyena, the brown pelican, the sharpe. These animals seemingly wrought by committee make us laugh or shake our heads. Another such creature of the human kind, and perhaps the strangest of all, is the black Republican. Black Republicans fail to understand that few white Republicans will accept them as equals. Although they will not acknowledge the truth, most white Republicans, like most other whites, view black Republicans as strange creatures." End of quote. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
finally. Do you remember this scene? Keep thank you there. Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have f with? That's me. Well, young man, meet a man after Mr. Clint Eastwood's heart. <laughs> Say hello to somebody you shouldn't have blanked with. I'm Larry Elder, and we've got a country to save. I'll see you next time.